Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. This is about conceptualizing. This is for you folks out there that need to start out with some shape and maybe make some fast decisions on how things are going to look, you know, maybe in the middle of a meeting, maybe uh, uh, on the phone with a customer, uh, but uh, you need to uh, uh, change the shape uh, drastically. Uh, uh, this is, gives you the opportunity to do that very easily. So on screen here, you can see I've got a, a sketch that's underdefined. I've got two uh, different types of relationships. I've got a coincident relationship here uh, with the origin and an endpoint of the line, uh, and I've got uh, tangent relationships with the arc on both of the uh, lines it's attached to. That's all the relationships I have. This is a totally underdefined sketch. Uh, there's no dimensions on here. There's no other constraints. Uh, we can see everything that there is. So what I want to do here is I want to tell this thing to extrude. Well, when I tell this to extrude, I can grab the uh, extrude uh, arrow there, and I can, you know, give this some thickness. Well, nothing uh, spectacular about that. I mean, we've seen stuff like this for years, right? We've been able to do this sort of stuff. But here's here's the fun part. Um, let me go back to a straight on view here so we can see this a little better. Um, this is an underdefined sketch and again we're in the extrude dialog box. What's not obvious is I can just grab this and I can move this shape around and change how the shape is uh, looking. Okay, right here, you know, on the fly, you know, with some somebody watching or not watching or, uh, you know, uh, I can play what ifs and I can get to a shape that I'm looking for. Okay, uh, I can grab the center point of the arc, which is way down here, uh, and I can move it most anywhere I want. I can make the arc bigger or smaller just by dragging it. Uh, I can move the endpoints of the arc. Uh, I can move the lines that the arc's attached to because it's tangent. Uh, all these different things. I can move all these things around until I get what I'm looking for here. Is this what I'm looking Oh, no, that won't work. Of course not. You know, so uh, it plays by the rules that uh, we're all familiar with anyway, but this gives us a chance to do some conceptualizing uh, until we get what we're looking for here uh, in this particular shape. Is this what it is? Well, Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, um, but we can play these games uh, with this underdefined sketch. It's again, it's a not obvious uh, thing. Uh, it's with SolidWorks. Uh, we can uh, uh, just make this stuff move pretty much however we want to, right within the extrude dialog box here, while we got the preview showing. So again, if you want to conceptualize uh, a shape like this, underdefined sketch, go to the extrude dialog box and then move things around till you get where you're going and then tell it thank you very much we're a happy camper. Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, wishing you happy conceptualizing. Mm -hmm.